Hello everyone, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz or Elizabeth and in today's video I'm going to be taking you through a full day in my life um, as a college student. Um, I go to community college so it's not exactly like I'm on campus all day. Um, so I obviously am home right now but this is a this is gonna be a very realistic very realistic day in my life every day for me is different i only go to school um three days a week right now because i just have i have two classes today and then i take one class tuesday and one class thursday but that's the same class it's just broken up into di two different days um right now the classes i have today at 11 a.m i have psychology right now it's 9 38 a.m i woke up at 8 and i just did my makeup finished everything um fed my bunny and i'm sitting on the floor because i'm also eating my breakfast this is my breakfast i'm having a protein bagel with cream cheese and i also have this alani nutrition drink i was gonna get coffee normally i do get coffee because there's a coffee shop right next to my house that i love but this morning I kind of woke up and I didn't feel that great and I knew if I got coffee my stomach would hurt even more so we're just gonna skip the coffee today um even though I'm literally having dairy right now and an energy drink all right whatever um right now my first class is psychology and then normally my second class would be history world civilization history um but I don't have to go to that one today thank god because we're having a midterm although i'd rather go to the class because you want to know what my midterm is my midterm is writing six pages a six page essay which is nuts um i'm in school to be radiology technician um or technologist a rt um the program is at my community college i only have one more class to get before I can apply to the program and take my TEAs. Um, I've been studying every day for my TEAs and 
it's basically a really big test that allows you into the RT program. You just have to get a good score. It consists of reading, writing, or reading, English comprehension, science, and math. Um, I'm taking a prep class for it right now online just for the math and science part because I have always been good at reading and English comprehension. Those were my best, best grades ever in high school and all through college was English. Um, math and science on the other hand, they're not my best. Um, so I really wanted to prep for this exam. I wanted to come on and make this video because I feel like obviously I've been gone for a while and I just uploaded my first video in a while in like two to three months so I told you all that I would be back with regular content and I didn't lie because I already pre-filmed two videos this is my third video I'm pre-filming so even though I think I'm gonna put this one up first so you're gonna see this one first before the other two I pre-filmed just because I don't know I just want to post this one first don't judge me um my outfit's really cute today. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I'm just going to eat my bagel and then I will talk to you guys in a minute. As for my outfit, I am normally don't dress up like this. I normally don't wear cute outfits. I normally don't do my makeup. But I thought if I'm filming video, I might as well look cute. I felt like looking cute today, so we're going to look cute. Because that's how I felt. I'm in the mood to look cute. What about it? What about it? So, this is my little outfit we're wearing today i'm wearing this amazon jumpsuit that i got from, well that i got from amazon obviously and then i just have on this cute shrug from sheen and i'm just gonna wear like white blazers so yeah this is my outfit super cute and i'm also packing my gym clothes in my bag because i'm gonna head to the gym right after class so yeah I will see you guys in the car. You are definitely gonna fall every five seconds, but I realized, I'm in my car now, we're gonna drive to school, but I realized that I didn't really explain what a radiology tech does or what they are. So, I always knew um, that I wanted to work in a hospital as a, oh my God, this is gonna fall, like this is not good. I need like a car tripod or something. I realized when I was young, <laughs> that I wanted to work in a hospital. That was always something that I wanted to do, something that I was really passionate about. And I wanted originally to go into nursing or be a physician assistant. But unfortunately for me, I cannot do those two things because I have a severe phobia of vomit. So I knew that wasn't gonna be a possibility. Around Ju June and July of this year, I experienced a, I got diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder in June. And following those months, I had a lot of symptoms of something called lymphoma, which is a cancer in the lymph nodes. So I've never really talked about this before, but I had to go to an oncologist and basically I believed and at the time doctors had you know we had thought I had lymphoma that I had cancer <laughs> which is crazy to think about now and that's why I cut my hair I had a breakdown I cut my hair short it's longer now but in June I chopped my hair off because I was thinking I had cancer I sound crazy right now guys I swear I'm not it was a process for about six months for me I went to a bunch a bunch of doctors um, and it was a long process and it was really mentally I knew that was gonna happen it was very mentally draining for me so I had uh, went to the oncologist they referred me to a radiologist to can I'm going bitch they referred me to a radiologist Fuck. I know the Sun is bad they referred me to get a CAT scan and an ultrasound to see the lymph nodes in my neck which were abnormal at the time so I got these tests and as I was there, cause I had given up on the dream of working in a hospital. 
I had given up that dream and I was like, I have this severe phobia. I'm not gonna be able to work in the hospital. I'm not gonna be able to do what I wanna do. So I'm just gonna give up. And then when I had this scare um, and I got my CT scan, I got my ultrasound, I was like, wait a second, who are these people? I had no idea what a radiologist technician was um, at all until this happened to me and it really opened my eyes and it really um, inspired me and I found that there was a program at my college that offers this job and it will give me that dream of working in the hospital and helping people and being in the OR and, and stuff like that. So I was like, oh my God, like, I can finally do what I want to do and now I'm really passionate about it and I'm even more passionate about it now because I went through that I got a CAT scan I got these ultrasounds I know what it's like so I can connect to my patients on that level so that's what really inspired me was that I can you know help calm their anxiety through it and um, I'm really passionate about it now I've been looking into it every single day watching videos reading about it, everything I can to make sure I'm completely educated into going into the program and know what I'm getting myself into, which I 100% do. Um, when the time comes that I will be in the program around next year, I am going to film videos of it because I feel like it can help people that also wanna go into the program and kind of just, you know, more day in the lives, but more in depth um, of what I'm doing. So yeah, that's basically what a radiology technician is doing x-rays doing cat scans we don't do ultrasounds um you can do mris as well i think you originally get trained in x-ray only and then once you finish the radiology program you can get trained in ct at the hospital which is what i want to do i want to work in ct and x-ray i don't want to be just an x-ray tech i want to do both i'm not as interested in mris um but CT scans I 100% want to do as well as x-rays and I want to work in trauma. For radiology technicians you can work in a clinic like um, I know a big clinic is University of Radiology. That's a big one and that's where I got my, my scans done. For me I want to work in the hospital and I want to work in trauma. So yeah that's a little background of what I'm doing and what school is looking like for me right now. Enough with the tangent. Let's play some music because if I don't listen to music before I get to school, I'm gonna have a breakdown. Diamonds get you bitch wet. Fat knots, make a bit for some. Ass shots, make it a new custom. Hey guys, I just got to class. It's 10.52. Class starts in eight minutes. And it takes me a little bit to walk there, but I don't really care. I'll be honest. Um, I'm gonna put on my perfume. This is God is a Woman perfume. It smells so good. One thing about this class is I can never get a freaking parking spot like one time I had to park all the way across campus because there's no parking like can we make the parking lot bigger please I just had to park in the tightest little spot in between two mini coopers that was anxiety well I don't know if anyone else gets like this but when you wear like a cute outfit do you feel like insecure like I don't know what it is but if I wear like a cute outfit I like get anxiety about it like I'd rather be like maybe because I'm out of my comfort zone I don't know it's not my comfort zone it's just school like if I wear a cute outfit to school I like get embarrassed I don't know why like I, like I don't know why all right I'm gonna go into class and I'll see you guys after we're gonna sit in the library and probably write some stuff so I'll be right back
Okay, guys, we have made it to the gym. It after, is after a good five hours. Yeah, after a good five hours. It's four o'clock. I left. I got to a minute. I was like one. I filled out my application. It's sent. Um, and then we just like hung out a little. But now we're at the gym. There's paper towels right behind you. You're really oh, out there. So we're now at the gym. We're about to hit some glutes and hammies because it is Monday. Glutes and hammies day. I am so tired. I'm ready to take a fat nap. But we must go on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're warming up with this hip abductions because there's someone on the hip thrust machine. Okay. We're over your butt. We're gonna get back to me. Cause I'm fucking hot. Yeah, so there's this really annoying kid uh, on the hip thrust machine. And like he does his whole workout, goes back to the hip thrust machine, does more, goes back to the hip thrust machine. And it's like if you try to go on it in between or ask him if he's done yet, he's like, no. What are you gonna use it like 17 times? Yes, he is. <laughs> like make it make sense, honey. We're doing RDLs. Hold on, let me show my air feet of the day. So we have Farkas, we have Skims Top, you can kind of see my bra, whatever. Then I have Navigation Leggings, you already know. What's your outfit? I have a hoodie from Amazon, I have Lululemon Leggings, up here I have it looks just like Skims, but it's not. Yeah, so this is real Skims, this is Aries. 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 But yeah, and then Converse. Got the booty games. This is not heavy enough. getting into a fight. <laughs> Not really. This is my but... third set. Cuz <sighs> you're busy. Go to hyper extensions now. Okay, so we're doing the hamstring things. She's getting to it. We do a super set here. Yeah. It's pretty boring to watch, honestly. 
I'm just talking. Ugh, it burped. See? And she goes super set. We're doing stair climb to baby. Bruh. Yeah, we are. Okay, fine. Hi guys, I just got home. I literally look a mess, but I just decided to start editing this video right now. Um, so that's like the end of my day. It is almost six. So I'm just going to edit this video and write the rest of my paper. So I thought I'd spare you the boring details and just film the outro. So um, I'm filming the outro on my computer, okay, I know, because I already started editing the video and I want to get it up today or tomorrow, so we're going to edit my video, finish my paper, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will be filming more day in my lives. I think they're so fun to watch and I think they're so fun to film, so I will be filming more. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I have... My Amazon storefront linked in the description box below and I also have an Instagram at elizabethgrace1020 so make sure to go follow that. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye!